What is up, YouTube? I'm Adam O'Dell, Chief Investment Strategist of MoneyMarkets.com. I'm joined by my research analyst, Matt Clark, and we are here for another episode of Ask Adam Anything. Just as a reminder, you can submit your questions. This whole series is generated by questions that you guys write in, uh, either on YouTube or my various uh, services at MoneyMarkets.com. Uh, so you can write to us at feedback at MoneyMarkets.com. Uh, literally, you can ask me anything, and I will try to give you an honest, open answer to just about everything. So. Uh, with that, why don't you go ahead and take it away, Matt, for this week's questions. I love the fact that, you know, that the, the amount of feedback that we're getting is fantastic and, and, and definitely love uh, that that viewers, whether you are a viewer on YouTube or maybe you're a subscriber to one of Adam's services, uh, that you are actively just really wanting to pick the brain uh, of our chief investment strategist, Adam O'Dell, uh, because he's got great insight uh, to, to a lot of things. I, I've even had the opportunity to ask Adam, what is the meaning of life? So, you know, the, the, the questions run kind of all over the place. And, and we love that because it's a, it's a great way for you to engage with us and us to engage with you. And it's, it's fantastic. And I, I've got several questions for you this week, Adam. Uh, first, I'm going to start off with a visual for you. Uh, and that is, if you look behind Adam and, and, and when he talks, you'll be able to see, he's got a couple things in his background. And one of our uh, astute viewers uh, actually pointed out what one of those things are. And, and the initial question was, is that El Moro in the portrait? And what the re what the viewer was referring to was the portrait that is right behind Adam O'Dell. And is that El Moro? And, and uh, kind of give us a little uh, a brief take on El Moro. Yeah, so that is uh, El Moro. That's the uh, the castle that the Spanish built in old San Juan, Puerto Rico. Uh, it's interesting. I think that you know it falls in the bucket of they don't build them like they used to anymore. Um, this took about two hundred years to build, and the and the walls at, at some points are between twenty and forty feet thick, uh, not tall but thick. So uh, certainly a very uh, interesting landmark. Uh, obviously the. The, uh, not obviously, but like a lot of things, the U.S. eventually took it over from the Spanish, and uh, I found out that they they built a golf course and a baseball diamond in the, on the Esplanade, the open grassy area there, uh, which seems like very American in a As reverse way. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you go to Puerto Rico, definitely check it out. It's a, it's an amazing site, and uh, it's definitely definitely worth a look. Yeah. And it's safe to say with that kind of construction, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. 40, uh, 40 foot thick walls don't don't evaporate over time. So I think when you last 500 years, you've got uh, you've got time on your side. I think it'll be there for a while. For sure. For sure. Next question came from YouTube. And, and, and this was very straightforward. And that is, I need to learn options. How can I contact you? So how, how can how can readers and viewers reach out to you? Yeah, so I'd probably get in trouble uh, mainly by my company and maybe my wife if I gave out my personal phone number, but um, <laughs> we will link uh, to my home run profit service uh, right here in the video. Uh, this is a service I've been running since 2012, so going on a decade now. And uh, yeah, I basically help uh, people learn how to trade options. A very simple, safe approach. Uh, I've had a lot of folks tell me they've never traded options before. They've only traded stocks or ETFs, and they find it very simple to do. So we'll uh, I'll have the video team uh, put a link in here where you can check out uh, how to join Home Run Profits and uh, get started that way. So thanks for that question. And 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 he's absolutely right. If you if you are a novice, a beginner, if you are if the thought of trading options scares the bejesus out of you, um, that's valid. That, that that's very very common. It's it's you know retail investors are tend to get kind of worried about that because there's a lot of nuance to it. But Adam does break it down in a concise way, in a very simple way. And by the time it's all said and done, uh, if you're following Adam and you're following the system, you're trading options like a pro, and and you're building your portfolio. So definitely something to check out, and that'll be uh, right up top here. Uh, next question uh, comes also from YouTube. Uh, and that is, uh, you know, great ideas, uh, but a question about VXX. I've been told that VXX uh, should not be held long term because it is slowly going down over time. Do you agree? First off, you might put a little context into what VXX is and then kind of lead into uh, lead, lead into the question about, uh, you know, agreeing about not being in VXX long term. Sure. So this question, I, I remember seeing it came up, I think, two weeks ago when we did an episode on five hedges 
uh, for a potential stock market crash. Now, I want to make it clear, I was not predicting a stock market crash. I'm not in the business of forecasting, uh, but I do believe that you should be prepared even if you aren't predicting. So these were five hedges that you can put in your portfolio, size them appropriately. We'll talk about that in a moment, uh, but that basically can kick into high gear. I mean, when, when is the best time to buy fire insurance? It's before your house catches on fire. So that's the idea with these types of hedges. Now, VXX was one of those five hedges. I'm also a firm believer that you need to diversify your hedges. So whether you believe in gold as a hedge or long volatility or buying put options, you wanna diversify across those uh, different types of hedges because um, various hedges will do better or worse in different types of crashes. So the, the March 20, 2020 Corona crash was the fastest bear market and the fastest recovery. It was a, basically a violent V uh, shaped recovery. And that was much different than the type of crash that we saw in 2008, which took many more months to play out. Uh, so that's why you need to diversify your hedges. But back to the question, VXX is uh, an ETN, basically an ETF, more or less. It's uh, something you can buy from a regular brokerage account it basically is a long volatility trade. It's meant to track the VIX, which is the volatility index, which is basically a measure of how volatile investors expect the market to be over the next 30 days. And they they use uh, options uh, pricing in the S&P 500 to, uh, to judge that. So VXX is meant to track that index. Uh, VIX, the VIX is, uh, is basically just an index, it's not a tradable. So VXX is a tradable vehicle that you can buy in your investment account. Now this, um, the person that asked this question is astute in knowing that um, VXX, the tradable, has a long-term downward bias. And without getting too far into the weeds, that's basically a structural bias, meaning the way the product is created, um, it's almost guaranteed to go down over long periods of time. And again, not to get into the weeds, but basically they hold two different futures contracts in the VIX futures, and they have to roll those contracts. And the mechanism by which they have to roll those about 85 to 90% of the time, they are buying high and selling low. So they lose a little bit of premium each time they do that roll, uh, just based on the structure of the futures curve and, and the VIX futures. So again, we're already in the weeds, but let's skip over that. What you need to know is that over long periods of time, VXX does tend to trend down. And there's some pretty uh, eye-popping charts that you can see of, of how far VXX has gone down. But I want to put that into perspective. I recommended buying VXX as one of the, basically one of five hedges at an investment conference uh, talk that I was giving in October of 2019. Specifically, it was October 10th, 2019. So I recommended buying VXX. And that hedge did not pay off over the next four months. So it hit a low of down 45%, negative 45% from October of 2019 through February 12th of 2020. So about a week before the top in stocks ahead of the coronavirus, when everybody just thought it was a China problem, uh, that VXX position was down 45%. Well, a month later, about actually five weeks later, by uh, the 18th of March, that position hit a high of up 222%. So what that really shows is that VXX most of the time is a money loser. Over long periods of time, it's structurally uh, guaranteed almost to, to turn downward. But in times of crisis, it will pop you know, 100%, 200%, 300% or more. Uh, during times of crisis. And that's really when you need it. That's why it's a hedge. You need something to go up when the rest of your equity market portfolio is going down. Um, you know, As of now, that, that position is down 60% because after that spike uh, into March of 2020, since then volatility has decreased and the structural downward bias in VXX has kicked back into high gear. And that, down, that position now judged today from October of 2019 is down 59%. Now, the question more specifically is, should you hold it long term? And I can't answer that for you specifically. It depends on what type of portfolio you have and whether you want to trade tactically or not. Um, but let me let me offer this as a piece of perspective. If you put just 5% of your portfolio in VXX, which is probably more than you need to, I would put a smaller amount. But if you did put 5% of your portfolio in VXX, a 222% profit, which is what you would have earned in it um, during March of 2020, is only uh, when you scale that to 5% of your total, total portfolio, that means the hedge is contributing a positive 11% to your portfolio. So if your stocks are down 30%, you've hedged about a third of that, which is pretty good. 
Um, you know, on the on the flip side, if you've held that position through today and, and you're down 60% on that hedge, again, a 5% allocation uh, to that 60% decline is only a 3% loss. So we have to ask yourself is, are you on your total portfolio? Are you willing to lose one or two or 3% of your total portfolio on that hedge over a multi-year period? If the benefit of holding that hedge is that you can gain five to ten to fifteen or twenty percent on that on your total portfolio during times of crisis, and if that hedge, which kicks into ten or fifteen percent during a time of crisis, will keep you with a cool head, um, limit your losses in your equity book, and uh, allow you to kind of like you can even monetize it. I mean, if you had sold VXX in, in late March, which is actually what I recommended uh, to my 10x profit subscribers, if you if you monetize that hedge at the height of the crisis, then you can reinvest that cash. When nobody else has cash, you can reinvest that cash into equities that have sold off 10 or 20 or 30 or 40 percent over the past month or two. So um, you know it, it is. I, I would be remiss to kind of warn to not warn you against the long term bias in VXX and the and the risk in holding it long term. You, you do have an erosion of capital, but that's like any form of insurance. That's what you. It's a price you pay. You know you have to pay a premium for your car insurance or your house house insurance. Um, and that premium is money that goes away little by little each year. And if you don't need that the insurance, it seems like a waste. But obviously, when catastrophe hits, um, it, it definitely pays off. So that's what I would say about long term holding uh, VXX. And that question, by the way, a great question, by the way, from Lewis uh, on our YouTube channel. And it kind of relates to the next question that I want to ask you here. And this is from Dan, who emailed us uh, at feedback at moneymarkets.com. It says, given the VXX has dipped below $10, what point should we be taking positions with long-term VXX call options? Uh, putting in place a hedge with VXX, as you've I've, I've mentioned and described, uh, at such a low value seems a good way to protect one's portfolio. What are your thoughts? Uh, yeah, so he's on the right. He's on the right track here. Um, so first of all, b- before talking about call options, um, like anything, I mean, when you want to buy insurance, you can buy it cheap or expensive. And the most expensive time to buy insurance is during the height of a crisis. Uh, so that's not really when you want to buy insurance, especially if you're going to be buying and holding VXX as a long-term strategic hedge. Uh, but the gentleman asking this question is, is spot on. I um, mean, don't don't get hung up on the ten dollar level. There's nothing magical about that. Uh, VXX will eventually uh, reverse split. So they'll, when the price gets too low, they'll, they'll reverse split it. So the price goes higher. Um, so that's a technical thing you don't need to worry about. But don't worry about the $10 level. What I will say is that over the past, you know, VXX is, is a pretty good place to buy right now, just based on its historical returns and knowing that it's somewhat mean reverting. Um, and it's somewhat cheap right now. So over the past one month, it's down 17%. Over the past three months, it's down 42%, six months down 55%. And over the last 12 months, VXX is down 78%. So it's certainly a better time to put on that hedge now than it was any time over the past year or so. So certainly look at that. Um, buying call options on the VIX, VIX is also, VXX is not also not a bad idea. That's also something I recommended in October of 2019 when I kind of uh, introduced this hedge. Uh, what I will say about that is that you probably want to buy longer term options, so leaps, so that you don't have to continually roll the position. Uh, and that's a little bit more of an advanced uh, trade. But certainly, uh, if you're looking to put on a long term strategic hedge, again, I don't try to predict when crashes are going to happen, uh, but I do try to be prepared for them and adapt to them. Um, speaking of adapting to them, the the alternative that you have to a strategic long term buy and hold hedge in VXX is to tactically trade it. OK, so. The idea with that is that since longer term VXX trends down, maybe you don't want to hold it 80 or 90 percent of the time. Maybe you only want to buy it and maybe five to 10 or 20 percent of the time when the market appears to be uh, heading into a crisis period. Now, I kind of emphasize appears to be because you you need a system to determine that you can't just uh, you know willy nilly read the headlines and think, okay, now I think that the crisis is coming and now I want to put on this hedge. You need some type of system that triggers when to go risk off versus when to stay in a risk on market. I actually run a service called 10X Profits that we launched in 2016. Uh, so it's going on five years now, and it does exactly that. We basically hold a risk on position in a 2X levered uh, long stock market ETF about 80 to 85% of the time. And then when my model uh, triggers a risk off signal, we sell out of that 2X long stock ETF and we buy uh, VXX. So that is our risk off vehicle. Um, so some of the advantages of doing that 
are uh, in March of uh, 2020. Again, we uh, basically got a trigger in that and we made uh, about a 62% profit in five days going long VXX. And then uh, we locked in that profit on March 19th, which was one day after the closing high of the VIX. Uh, and then a day later on March 20th, I recommended a short on the VIX by buying put options. Uh, so I recommended, we basically took our, our uh, long volatility profits on the 19th, and then we betted, we put a bet on falling volatility uh, on March 20th. And we've held that, uh, basically, we were still holding that. Uh, so that's an options play. So the again, the alternative is if you don't want to strategically buy VXX, you can trade it. Uh, but again, I would rec recommend a system for doing that. Uh, if you're interested in, in the system that I use, it's uh, basically available through 10X Profits, and we'll link to that here in the video as well. Uh, but that's the other all, other way to trade VXX. You don't get every single trade right. We've certainly been burned on VXX sometimes. Basically, you know, the, the model will trigger risk off. You buy VXX and then nothing bad happens. So you lose some money in that trade, but you get out of it very quickly. Whereas if uh, a period of crisis comes, you can stay in it a little bit longer and really make some good money. So. Uh, those are my thoughts on VXX. A lot of great questions this week. Uh, I appreciate everyone who sent them in via YouTube uh, on our YouTube channel or uh, through email. Again, that email address is feedback at moneyandmarkets.com. And you can email us and ask Adam anything. We'd love to pose these questions to him, pick his brain, find out what is going on uh, in the market and what are his thoughts on uh, on a, a, either a sector or a particular stock or, or you know a particular news item, whatever. Uh, we'd love to take those kind of questions. So do that feedback at moneyandmarkets.com or just comment down below on our YouTube channel. Adam, that's all I got for you this week. I'm going to let you off a little easy. Sounds great. Thanks so much, Matt. Have a good one. Thank you.